With Onshape documents, there are several ways you can organize your design data to suit the way you work. Over the next few videos, we'll take a look at how you can organize documents on the documents page and also look at ways you can organize data within each document. But first, let's have a recap of what a document is. A document is not the same as a traditional CAD file, it's more like a project level container. Each document can contain any and all information related to one or more projects, such as assemblies, parts, drawings, and any other related data, such as PDFs, images, and videos. Documents keep all your data together in one place to make projects easier for you to manage. However, there is no correct way to organize your design data. Onshape gives you the flexibility to add as much or as little to each document as you like. On one hand, you may have an entire design project in a single document, and on the other, you may have only one part per document. Likewise, you can organize your documents by product type, by project or customer, or even by modular subassembly for use in multiple products. Onshape's unique database and full cloud architecture enables multiple people to work on the same document at the same time. This is ideal if you organize your documents by project. To collaborate with others, simply share the document with individuals or an entire team. You can edit the same parts at the same time, speed up assembly tasks by having the entire team contribute, or finish a design while a colleague creates the production drawings. We'll discuss how to share documents more in a future video. Onshape documents also have version control built in. When you reach a milestone in your design, you can create a read-only version for the entire document. This is great for managing projects, but if you need finer control over when each part or subassembly is versioned, like in the example of a modular subassembly, you may want to split these out into separate documents and link them back into your main project document. There'll be more on referencing data between separate documents later. With all this flexibility, it can be overwhelming trying to decide how to organize your data. We recommend starting off using each document as a container for any data related to a single unique project. Anything that you plan on reusing across multiple projects should live in its own document. All these topics and more will be discussed in detail in future videos.